today is health wednesday uh something i want to keep up with the new series um, well hopefully i keep it going and what i'll be talking about today if i look kind of stiff in this video is because i have a crick neck i slept bad last night so i can't turn my head all the way this way it hurts and then i feel something here am i getting too old i don't think so <laughs> i started back my exercise yesterday because i wasn't exercising while i was healing from my tooth extraction so i did a little stretch yoga stretch last night before i went to bed and then i did some pilates this morning but when i woke up this morning i felt the strain in my neck anyways let's get back to what we're here for blobbing along we're gonna talk about moringa yeah moringa powder now from this company that i buy marule oil from african oil i saw that they have moringa oil i never really you know penny into it my boss is african and he visited i think last year around october and he came back talking about this moringa powder i'm like i've heard i've seen the oil i don't see the powder so it's becoming a big thing but it does some pretty amazing stuff and i started taking it about a month now and i can feel the difference i don't feel so drained and tired and i haven't been taking my vitamins so and i took this all throughout when i was healing from the tooth extraction and i think it also helped along you know the healing process I watched my last video and I said you know so many times in that video I'm gonna try not to say it so much in this one so let's I have two different kind this one is from Africa I haven't tried this one yet I just got it and this package costs I receive it for free to test but it costs $30 but before I got this, I bought this one from a company called Green Virgin Products. And I purchased teas. I, this was 30 tea bags. And I find it so much. I don't juice every day. So the powder I would normally put in my juice. But I don't juice every day. So this is the tea bag. So it's easier for me to steep this every morning and drink it than it is to use the powder because I don't juice every day. When I juice, I definitely use the powder. All right, they say when making Moringa tea, do not heat the water hotter than 140 Fahrenheit. Make it any hotter can destroy some of the nutrition value. And it tastes good. I don't... I don't put any sweeteners in this. I just make the tea and drink it as is. I think this was 30 bags for $15. And I also got the powder from that same company as well. And this said that it's product of the Philippines. Now, what I noticed with this one compared to the other one is that I doubt if you could see this, but the color, it's greener compared to this one. And he's saying one of the main reasons for that is because of how he stores his product. So it keeps better in these, uh, no, it's not like foil kind of container than it does in this i guess the same thing goes for like your oils and stuff it's better to keep it in a dark bottle you know to preserve the nutrition of the oil and the shelf life so i don't know or maybe because it's from two different countries it's the same plant but you know it's from this is from the philippines and this is from africa but let me read up some things that this powder does 
strengthens the immune system. Who doesn't need that? It, you're, you have to have a strong immune system because this is what keeps infections away. This is what keep the cold and everything. It, it, you have, I always build my immune system with echinacea, you know, and any tinctures and honey that build that because I am trouble with allergies and I have sinus. So I try to keep, uh, you know, building my immune system so that it doesn't affect me as much when an attack come on. It cleanses the body from toxin and heavy metal. Parasites from your intestine. If you are one to have radiation or chemotherapy, this supports health during that. If you're lacking appetite, they said this tree can feed a nation basically that's how good it is and when i drink the tea i'm not even that hungry yeah i eat because i know i have to eat but i don't get those hunger pain if i go too long without eating like today i had my cereal with rice milk in the morning and i had my cup of tea and i ate two oranges for lunch and then i'm gonna eat dinner this evening and but basically, in any day, if I eat lunch, I cannot eat dinner because I'm full. So if I want to eat dinner, I don't eat lunch. I go with fruits. Support diabetes, intestine infection, gum infection, various skin disease, breathing disease headaches and migraines so if you're one that trouble from headache and migraine try it out arthritis and hair loss for all our natural ladies out there it has seven vitamins six minerals 46 antioxidants vitamins like vitamin a vitamin b vitamin b2 vitamin b3 vitamin c calcium copper, fiber, iron, magnesium, potassium, protein, zinc, and the list goes on. So this basically replaced your multivitamin. And there was also something that I saw that tells you how much banana it replaced or how much percentage of milk it replaced. And, but I didn't print that off to share with you guys, but you can Google it, Google Moringa, do a little research. And if you've tried it before, let me know what you think of it. I have more energy. I don't feel as droggy. I don't know about hair growth or hair loss. I wasn't experiencing any hair loss, but maybe it's contributing in that department. I don't worry so much about hair growth or length. I most worry about the health of my hair. If my hair is healthy and length comes, yes. I am not one to have, you know, you see hair that it's, the body is thick, like from here to here, and then once it gets to the ends, it's thinned out. I don't like that. I'll clip those suckers off. I don't like split ends. And so I cut them off. So I mostly worry about hair health over hair growth any day. Another thing that I've noticed with this, and I noticed that is that my nails are like so pink and white, and they are hard. Like they don't bend. They they feel stronger, and I think this is based on the moringa but try it out this is awesome it's it has so much nutrition and it's let me tell you when i just started drinking the teas it sent me to the bathroom big time <laughs> but i it was cleaning me out so uh, you know i it doesn't send me to the bathroom like it did in the first week but I definitely go and I go regular, you know, compared to other times when I used to go and it was, I don't think you want to know what my poop look like. So let's leave that out. But yeah, it's, 
I'm going and it's looking and feeling what it should be looking and feeling like not hard, not too mushy, but how it should feel. <laughs> Let's keep it at that. So yeah, check out Moringa and this is my pick for this week because I think it's awesome and it's something that I definitely want to continue taking and I really feel the difference and I'm seeing the difference in my skin as well and maybe because of that, because I stopped using conditioners in my hair and leaving conditioners, <coughs> I don't have any breakout. So now I'm thinking that if you're one that's trouble with acne, like I have been, and scarring, I'll have a different session on the oils that I use for that. But you know, hold off on some of the products that you're using. Or even if you're using those products and say you're tying your hair back and your hair is not in your face, you still sweat. And those products, you know, still come down on your face. So stop using them for a while stop using them and see what's the difference see if they're the cause or if it's something in internal or both you know but my skin is not acting up i don't have i used to have these bumps that are under the skin and like so hard to come out i don't have those anymore i rarely get too much breakout and maybe this is contributing to that and i also you know i change my hair care and i change my skin care so i'll be sharing that with you guys as well but check out moringa let me know if you're using it and what you think about it or if you tried it and what you think you know keep me posted on that until next time much love.